Hello and welcome to the episode 150 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. A fresh engagement for the Silver Beatles, the first recording session for the White Album, and the first Beatles single to be released in stereo are some of the stories we'll focus on in this episode. On the 30th of May 1960, the Silver Beatles, fresh from their Scottish tour back in Johnny Gentle, had the first of several engagements at the Jacaranda Coffee Bar in Liverpool. The opportunity came thanks to their manager, Alan Williams, who was also the venue promoter. These gigs were only paid with a Coca-Cola and beans on a slice of toast or two. It is not possible to know how many times the Silver Beatles performed at the Jacaranda, nor when, as their performances were neither noted down nor advertised. In all likelihood, the band performed 12 times there, more or less every Monday night, when the club's resident Royal Caribbean Steel Band had a night off. The room where the Silver Beatles performed was small and without microphone stands, so the band's girlfriends had to sit close to the stage, holding broomsticks with microphones taped on them. Just as a reminder, apart from George Harrison, John Lennon, and Paul McCartney on guitar and voice, the Silver Beatles also included Tommy Moore on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass. One year later, in 1961, the Beatles, now featuring Pete Best on drums, performed another night at the Top Ten Club in Hamburg, West Germany, for their second residency in the city. It was their 60th concert in that venue. In 1962, instead, the Beatles, still with Pete Best on drums, performed their penultimate night of their third Hamburg residency, this time at the Star Club. Another live engagement in 1963 with the Beatles, now with Ringo Starr in the lineup, joining the rest of the Roy Orbison package tour at the Odeon Cinema in Manchester. After attending the concert and writing an unexpected glowing review of the evening on the Daily Express, journalist Derek Taylor started to follow the Beatles phenomenon more and more closely, until he became Brian Epstein's personal assistant and then, the Beatles press officer. Check out episode 89 and 91 of this very podcast for a bit more information on that. And since you're busy checking, have a look to www.simonmas.com support too. There are many ways in which you can help me to put out more and better music-related content. I promise that the more I can concentrate on it, Thanks to your shares and donations, the more interesting it will all become. Thank you for being fab! On the 30th of May 1968, the Fab Four had the first recording session for what would be issued as The Beatles. The band regrouped at the EMI Studios in Abbey Road between 2.30 pm and 2.40 am to record Revolution which would eventually be released as Revolution 1. 16 rhythm tracks were recorded, with take 11 and 12 missing for some reason. The tracks featured piano, drums and acoustic guitar on one of the four available tracks and John Lennon's guide vocals on another. Take 18, the one deemed best for further work, was different from the others, lasting some 10 minutes. The length was due to the presence of a long jam serving as a coda to the piece, including feedback, sound effects and screaming. When the rest of the band decided to veto the release of this version of John's song as a single, the piece acquired the name of Revolution 1, with the now avant-garde coda being edited into Revolution 9. Take 18, with some of the dubs, was released in the 2018 Super Deluxe edition of the 50th anniversary reissue of The Beatles. And let's conclude the episode with another release, this time in 1969. The Ballad of John and Yoko, recorded on the 14th of April 1969 by John Lennon and Paul McCartney, was the first Beatles single to be released in UK in stereo. 
check out episode 104 of What A Fab Day for more information about the recording session of the song, and episode 73, 75 and 79 for details on the events narrated in the lyrics, the wedding of John Lennon and Yoko Ono. On the B-side of the record, there was George Harrison's Old Brown Shoe. This concludes today's episode. Tune in tomorrow for more stories from the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.